Viewers saw Darcy Silva and Georgie Rusev become engaged on season 3 of Darcy and Amp, Stacy. But all good things must come to an end. Also, so did this engagement. On Monday of February 28, Darcy announced that they have split. Darcy Silva opened up to Entertainment Tonight about what must have been a painful decision. It was a decision that I made personally for myself, she stated. Darcy affirmed that this was also a choice that she made for my daughters, Aniko and Aspen. And I took a stand, Darcy explained, because I felt like the relationship wasn't moving in the right direction. She continued, from that point of being engaged. Darcy then specified, which happened in the summer, mind you, the tell-all was in wintertime, so there had been some time, Darcy characterized. And, she added, communication still wasn't going well. Darcy vaguely expressed, there was a lot of things that just weren't where they should have been. Darcy explained that she knew that she had to take accountability when it came to the engagement to Georgie. I just felt like for me, I needed to walk away, she noted. And once it left my mind, Darcy added, my body followed. And I hit my limit with him, Darcy stated. That is understandable. The two have been through a lot. This isn't even their first breakup. During season one, Darcy introduced Georgie to viewers, who had previously only seen him in blurry photos shared on social media. The two of them had chatted online, Georgie being from Bulgaria, before meeting up in February of 2020. That time of the year got very complicated very quickly for a lot of relationships. In their case, they simply moved in together after a few weeks of dating. Georgie proposed to Darcy in June of 2020, after just four months of in-person dating. Darcy praised his energy, his demeanor, and his inner fire that summer. She was, at the time, excited to see where their relationship was headed. Of course, at the end of the show's second season, the engagement ended and so did their relationship. Darcy and Georgie eventually mended fences and got back together. 90 Day Fiancé fans are all too familiar with serial reconciliations, but Darcy is shooting down any speculation that it will happen again. If I continue to do that, it's just going to keep happening, I feel, Darcy explained on Monday. And I want to keep my heart open for the right person, she reasoned. Keeping a positive attitude, Darcy stressed, I'll just get back up, I deserve much better, Darcy affirmed. He was a great guy, she said of her now former fiancé. I just want to move on and heal, Darcy expressed, and I wish him the same, feel really excited for the future, I'm excited for where I'm at in life right now, Darcy said. People have their moments, people have to grow and learn, she added. And I think, I'm here to really just stay open and stay authentic and real to who I am as a person, and a wife to eventually the right person, Darcy stated. So, I feel that you guys will see in the future, how that kind of plays out, Darcy suggested. But I'm excited, she affirmed. Darcy concluded, I'm excited for the next steps ahead. Darcy listed her reason for ending the relationship, but we have to point out that the timing seems suspicious. Aaron Carter, former child star and teen singing sensation, had an ugly breakup from his own fiance, Melanie Martin. He recently claimed that she had left him only to hook up with the boyfriend of Darcy, of course meaning Georgie. Now, Aaron Carter says a lot of things, and not all of those things are rooted in reality. He has also dragged himself into the 90 Day Fiancé narrative before, accusing his ex of fleeing to Larissa Lima's ex-bestie's house. Darcy didn't mention anything about cheating, but, announcing a split just days after that accusation was voiced? That's a little weird.